The history of jade is as long as our civilization. Chinese love jade not because only of its beauty, but more importantly, is its culture, meaning in humanity. So in ancient time, all beautiful rocks, we can call it jade. Like last time I talked about, um, we have Nephi and Jadai. But in ancient many, many time years ago, we only have Nephi. Until about Qing Dynasty, there was the hard type of uh, jade, that is the Jadai, imported from Burma. Then we start to have Fei Jade. Chinese always say gold is valuable, but for jade is invaluable. Now, why Chinese love jade so much? And why, until today, we're still crazy about it? Maybe we have to talk about um, back to our Chinese history regarding Confucius. Confucius was a teacher and a philosopher. His political beliefs were based on a concept of self-discipline. While Confucius liked to compare a gentleman to Virgil of jade. A jade is mild, gentle, and has a fine texture. It is like a gentleman's wisdom. His careful, meticulous, and far-off way of handling things. Now, Confucius say, when I think of a wise man, his merits appear to be like jade. And now you can see there's a few pieces of jade and how Confucius described that. He say, its brilliancy represents the whole of purity. Its hardness represents the sureness of intelligence. Its angles, although they seem sharp, which do not cut, represent justice. Its color represents loyalty, and its interior flaws always showing themselves through transparency, called to mind sincerity. So Confucius believed by carrying a piece of jade, people can remind themselves to exercise self-restraint. So as a gentleman, he would carry a jade forever. Now you can see from all these pictures, you see, at Confucius' time, men liked to wear jade. Can you see how they wear them and where they put it? They will hang it in their waist with a long thread. So as they walk, sometimes the two pieces strike together, then we will create a prolonged sound. So can you hear the sound? It's very clear. You see from the picture, actually, they are all prints. They are the son of the emperor. So that's why you can see their costume plus each piece of jade is different from ordinary people. In ancient times, we don't have machines and we don't have computers. So you can imagine every piece of jade are handcrafted and each one of them has their different meaning. All the carvings are different. Sometimes they will have animals Sometimes maybe they have um, plants, flowers, or even like um, birds and everything. So next time, let's try to talk about it more.